Hey everybody, I'm back to Monster, and I got Grim Dawn up on the chopping block for the first time, and I figured I'd give it a go, and uh, I haven't played it, I haven't done anything with it, I just set my settings up, uh, it's the best I can actually, I haven't really done anything with it, so I guess this is the closest thing to a let's play I've ever done, don't know what to call it, but let's see what we do here. Let's see, we got single player, difficulties, male, female, hardcore. I guess we gotta name it. Only one character, or do you pick a character class later? No idea. Not really intuitive at the moment, huh? This just spins it around. Well, let's see what happens. Roll with it, right? Oh, what we got here? We got a map. Oh, that's a pretty nice map. The graphics actually look much better in the game than they did at the start. That's interesting. This is by uh, Titan Quest. It's another one of those games that suffered from the premature release. <laughs> Tempted to say something else, but we'll keep it kid friendly. And uh, I think a lot of good games out there that should have been so much better than they were. Uh. You know, it was a good game, and it could have been so much better if they just refined it just a little bit better. And it was actually released much lighter than it should have been. And it wasn't as refined as it should have been when it was released, but they just kept redoing it and redoing it and redoing it, and finally they had to release something. So we got energy, we got health, standard in the action RPG world. Nice little map, we got player, quest. Rift gates. Okay, there's rifts in this. Group, let's see. Point of interest. I can set points of interest. That's, well, maybe not. Smuggling. There's a lot of stuff going on there. Quests. No quests yet. Character window. Here's about a character. So we have attributes. Physique. Physical conditioning gives you the strength in the fight to wear heavier gear and the agility to avoid any attacks. Or physique also increases your capacity for pain and the ability to avoid being critically hit. Oh. Cunning. Intellect improves your combat technique, increasing physical, pierce, bleed, and internal trauma damage. Cunning also increases your chance of landing melee and Ranged attacks as well, or when critically hitting enemies. Spirit. Strong spirit increases the flow of energy into your being and allows you to withstand the spiritual burden of using more powerful enchanted items. Oh, you need that to be able to wield enchanted items. Interesting. Spirit also magnifies the damage of magical attacks. Health is a measure of how much pain and damage you can withstand before you collapse or die. Energy is measured your spirit's capacity to hold magical energies. The greater its capacity, the larger the pool of energy you can immediately draw upon before waiting to regenerate. Offense ability. Chance to hit, chance to crit. That's interesting. Higher offense ability. Increases your chance of successfully landing. Melee and ranged attacks. Scoring critical hits and damage of critical hits. An offensive ability lower than your opponent's defensive ability will greatly increase your chance to miss. Offensive ability is affected by skills, items, and cunning. Defense ability. Chance to be hit. Chance to be crit. A defense ability allows you... A higher defense ability allows you to avoid enemy hits more often. Decreases the chance of suffering a critical hit and reduces the damage taken when you are critically hit. 
defense ability is affected by skills, items, and physique. Damage per second, average damage per second, does not factor in enemy's defense. Armor rating. Oh, hit locations. Wow, interesting. The higher armor rating, the less damage you will take from physical attacks. Bonus is the added up value from all non-armor items and is divided evenly among your armor slots. Whoa. Interesting system there. Hit locations. That hasn't been done in a while. Attack speed, damage rating, these are kind of self-explanatory. Energy absorption. You can absorb energy, experience gain. Oh, and you learn skills as you go. So this is kind of like a... Man, what was that game? It's going to come to me after the video, probably. <sighs> Wicked old game. They did a remake of it and it sucked. The first one wasn't so bad. All skill based. The more skills are used in the line, the more powerful you got in it. Looks like it's doing all that. A lot, a lot of skills. Still going breath, I see. You're a lucky bastard. I'll give you that. Let's go speak to Captain Bourbon. <laughs> Captain Bourbon? Is that kind of like Captain Morgan? Right away. He seems to have a plan for you that uh, we've spared your life. Welcome to Devil's Crossing, possibly, possibly the last refuge of humanity. You're possessed, so we strung you up, as we do with all ethereal taken. S seems a spirit fled your body before the life ran out. I'd have left you to hang, but the captain had other plans. He sees some other purpose in you, and I'm not going to argue. Where can I find this captain, then? He's up the road in the courtyard, probably coordinating our defenses against the dead. Don't make me regret cutting you down. I'll be on my way. Skill slots. I go up pretty high. Hmm. Oh, that pause this doesn't seem to be a jump here. Thank you again for supporting us and helping us make Grim Dawn possible. We hope that you enjoy this first portion. Of the game, please remember that this is a pre release build created by a seven person indie studio. You will encounter bugs and complete features in only the first two thirds or so of the game. We welcome your feedback on bugs and general gameplay on our forums. Blah 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 blah. Right, here it is. Oh, look, it's the possessed one. I'll tell you what, I've got something that needs doing. I'll pay good to see it done. I'm not quite sure you've got what it takes, but come back with some blood on your boots and maybe I'll reconsider or just try to make uh, sure it's not your own blood. John Bourbon. Captain Morgan. You're not looking too bad for someone just back from the brink of death. You were taken, possessed by the same creature that uh, have been reanimating these zombies here. Normally, I've been burned. 
but uh, with the rest to be safe. But we've lost too many people to the dead, and I need some expendable, someone with nothing to lose but a lot to gain. Right now, you're that person. Prove your worth to me in the stars, the Devil's Crossing, and may just welcome you. What does he want me to do? Bodies of the dead are rising again in some horrible unlife. Corpses ju don't just get up and move around on their own. Something is reanimating our deceased with ethereal energy. We have observed the dead for some time, and they appear to be flooding lower crossing from the burial hill just beyond town. Why don't you go to Barrow Hill, find whatever is controlling these abominations, and destroy it. Blah, 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 blah. I am not one for yes. Tonic amending. It's a health potion. Where does this go? Go there. Nope. I guess we use this outside of combat. Health and energy potions are used to restore character energy, respectively. To drink potion, right click the image in the quick bar, or press the assigned hot key. I oh, like hot key. What am I supposed to do? Nope. Well, that was pretty effective. Well, we've got the basic uh, destructibles. Oh, there's another rat. Gnome back nature. Walking dead. Do I have to play on the TV show anymore? can't tell I haven't watched the TV show so I have no idea if Captain Bourbon is actually a play on one of the characters in there or not. I find it more of a play on Captain Morgan. Then again I like Captain Morgan. Oh shit. Not a lot of good wheel. Well, so far, zombies and giant rats are pretty much not a problem. What am I going to do? Destroy the door. Don't open the door. Destroy it. Hmm. It's a pretty good map, though. Oh, I have leveled up. Leveled up. You have earned a level. Each time your character levels up, you'll earn a skill and attribute points. You can assign skill points in the skill window. You can assign attributes in the character window. Character. Where's the attributes? One attribute point available. Oh, wow. I guess we should look at skills first. Oh. And we get to pick a class now. I 
Once you pick a class, it will be permanent. Soldiers of the Imperial Army were trained to survive in the most hellish conditions and hold the line against the deadliest enemies of the Empire. Soldiers prefer the use of close combat weaponry as a sword and shield, but also prove formidable with firearms. What a soldier may lack in outright damage output is made up for in fortitude and leadership. Demonologists, pyrotechnic masters of the Imperial Army, demonologists are part engineer, part sorcerer. They were used to break enemy ranks and breach fortifications with their devastating array of explosives and destructive magic. They usually prefer to fight at range, engaging enemies with guns, traps, and explosives, but can also be proficient with melee weapons. Occultist. Oh, that sounds interesting already. Once hunted by Imperial forces in effort to control Eldritch powers, the occultist craft focuses heavily on summoning in borrowed powers granted by the three witch gods. This is not easy to read. Bismiel, Soleil, and Dreg. I think I've actually heard of Dreg before, but I don't know about the other ones. Their diverse arts include abhorrent curses and spells that inflict damage with poison, acid, and entropic energies. Excellent with neither sword nor gun, they can use either. Excelling with neither sword nor gun, they can use either to augment their offensive. Nightblades. Nightblades were clandestine warriors that sold their services to the great houses of the empire night blades excel with all manner of martial weapons but are even more feared for the deadly blade magic that is the secret of their trade night blades are not suited to go toe to toe with tougher enemies and rely on illusions to close for quick devastating attacks or fight from a distance with phantasmal blades huh well i'm tempted to go with occultists because i tend to like sorcerer types or demonologists and everyone is saying that anybody that's mealy is gimped. And Nightblade sounds like the most gimped. Do I go with the most gimped and see if I can't make it work? Or do I go with the one I really want to play? I can do two. I can probably do Nightblade Occultist there. We'll go with Nightblade. So let's see, three unused skill points. Okay, this is playing out much, much like um, Titan Quest now. You spend points into a skill rank, and as you spend those points, other skills become available. And your skill that you originally bought gets more and more powerful. So let's see, we got dual blades among the most Fundamental skill of the Nightblade is mastery of the melee dual wield. Favoring the use of piercing blades and the art of drawing elemental cold from iron and steel. What does it end at? Execution. Blade spirits. I just want to cloud open blade, but I don't know about the association. That sounds awesome. What does this require? 50 additional points from Nightblade. Oh, I need 50 points. Oh, that sounds really awesome. Weird skills indeed.
this guy's gonna be a life stealer. This is a gambit. Oh, this is even better. You don't even have to spend points in them. You just spend points in the tree. And it unlocks the skills as you go. Oh, and then you have to spend points as you get there. Okay. Let me see. Run by. Spend points. So, you put a point in, and unlocks a rank. As you get up to higher ranks, I see. Then you can put points in to buy the skill. And like 0 of 16, you can buy the skill at different damages. I see, I see, I see. We're going to take 18 energy cost, 2 and a half second skill recharge, 180 degree arc. Oh, it's got skill charge on it. What's this guy? Which stats damage? Plane. This is just a buff. So that should have spent them. And there it goes. Gambit. Well, I probably should have pointed this because now I still can't dual wield, right? Is that right? What can I dual wield anyway? Nope. Well, we'll see what's going on. Let's see, I believe I turn this on. And that's buff. So this is giving me a buff. Let's bring up the skill window. Where are the skills? So this is a buff giving me a 3 meter radius of minus 10 offense ability to my enemies, minus 6 defense ability to my enemies, plus 25 energy reserve, so I lose 25 energy, and uh, minus 5 physical damage resistance to my enemies. Physical, a psionic veil clouds the minds of nearby enemies, obscuring their sight and diminishing their effectiveness in combat. So I figured, well, if I'm going to be in trouble, I might as well have less trouble. And this is a gambit every two and a half seconds I can do to, to uh, increase damage. 3% 3, 3 chance of 150% uh, pierce damage, 150% cold damage. Automatically does 5 to 27 cold damage and 1 to 15% uh, reduction to enemies' health. So it's got a big chunk of damage already, and then it does a big chunk, possibly, as a critical, extra critical type hit. Seems roguey. So in all their games, the problem usually becomes how many points do you spend in the skills, and then how many points do you spend uh, advancing the skill ranks and uh, after you advance a skill usually so far you can advance a second tree I think that's what I was reading Yeah, that's pretty effective. The big attack was my uh, gambit, which obviously paid off. Uh, 
cloth strap, I don't know what that is. Well, that'll make them an iron some belt. Well, it definitely has potential as far as uh, action RPGs go. Hello. A lot of clicky things. Francis's note. Let's read the note. I'm trapped here. I realize now I will die this house. Margaret, I fear that you already are already dead and so it may not be so bad that I'm shortly to join you. If by some miracle you will yet live and return here to find this note, please know that I am not angry with you. I'll never regret I've never regretted our life together and now regret that I lost my temper and spoke unkind words when we last parted. I hope you will not think me a coward for what I'm about to do. They are already in the house. I've barricaded myself in the room, but it's no only a matter of time before they break through. All I can do now is choose the manner in which my face my death and I'd rather die a man than be changed into one of these horrible horrid things or eaten alive. I will love you forever, Francis. <laughs> no, that definitely does more damage. Oh, I got him. I'm going to Now it's really becoming walking dead, ain't it? No, no, I can down. Let's go back to whatever that was. Scrap metal saw blade. Yep. Gotta use metal iron grips, so I gotta have certain stats for armor and such. I see. Cover master's log, where'd that go? I'll read that later. What's that? I leveled again, huh? Three unused points. That looks good. We should be able to do wield now. Yeah. That's a 42. That's an over like this. 36. I wonder if that takes into effect the 15% piercing damage very fast. fast. I'm going to stay TP here. Skill point. Let's we'll keep going with cunning. My guess is later on that might start fighting a rifle.
can play with this thing attack so fast she's uh, not having any issues here tainted hound oh, that's looking cool It's getting so hot here. Already. It's not that it's hot, it's just so humid. Ugh. We just turned off the heat like four days ago. It was cold all the way up to then. Now it's the humidity is getting to the temperature, the same temperature. It's killer. Oh. Where's my quest supposed to be? To the cave and head north across the bridge through the ruins of Lower Crossing. Once past a stream, Burial Hill will be on the left where the road forks. No, I think I went that way. I gotta get rid of these papers here. Got another game brewing. I gotta figure out a way to get my iOS to. Record. Ooh, a yellow. Someone's being nice to me. There's a big DPS up here. Right there. I can't believe I missed it at first. Oh, look at all these I missed. These definitely don't glow enough. They need to glow more.
Oh, there's a lot of story stuff to read. That's kind of cool. I wish all the clicky stuff just glowed so I didn't feel like I was missing anything if I didn't look for it. I don't know if that's our intent. Oh, I can scroll out more. Oh, I like that. Oh, an action RPG that actually lets you scroll. <laughs> nice. That is some smooth moving right there. Lower crossing right. What's a rift? Let's go take a look. Burial Hill. Secured rift gates allow you to traverse quickly between various locations in Karn. Left click on the rift gate to open the rift gate map. You have discovered the lower crossing rift gate. The locations of all rift gates discovered in the future will be stored on the rift gate map. Personal rift gate. As an either touch human, you are capable of opening personal rift gates. To acti activate your personal rift gate, you click on the rift gate, rift travel button on the HUD. Ah, okay. So, I guess that was special, but not really. Burial Hill. What am I supposed to find here? Enter the cave under Burial Hill. There's a cave under it. This is on top of it. Oh, yeah. Uh oh. We got an either crystal. Yeah, level. What does this do? Pursuing shard, a lingering with ethereal power, can be used in the creation of arcane items. Hmm. Physique is not going up with the levels. That's not nice. I guess I should have to put the point into physique sooner or later. Some good abilities here. I think we're gonna take that one. This is gonna give me a 16 duration of 18% health restored, one cold damage, and 3% attack speed. Pneumatic burst. A lot of things around me. Eight hundred very well. Oh, that looks like a cave. Let's 
So I'm going to guess it's a long while from now when Melee gets to be uh, underpowered. Some of this dying corruption. being smart because it wasn't not being smart Enter the cave. No quest update. The source of the dead is near. Kills. Oh, kill Kaizog the reanimator. Okay. That will probably be the first problem I come across. 20 armor. Yeah, I can definitely go with that. 16, 16. Yeah, I should probably definitely go with 16 armor. Not sure how many little armor points actually matter. I don't think I have an energy problem. Each one of those had more energy on them. Oh, energy, nice. XP when you right click those, so I guess there's a reason to pick those up after all, besides just uh, flavor. Get some more cunning. And this time I'll just go with one and one to try them out. So this is just going to be a chance, and every time I use a melee attack, uh, it will have a 5% chance when uh, on an attack to do 150 degree arc of three targets maximum. To do six internal trauma over two seconds, five percent physical damage, and stun the target for one and a half seconds, and this gives me a ranged attack every two and a half seconds. Uh, three projectiles doing thirty-three percent weapon damage plus twenty-three to forty-five physical damage. So that sounds pretty good to me. This is going to be unlike other action RPGs. You will have a ton of skills to use and choose from, if not too many. He was pretty easy to kill. Oh, well, that's a stop. Cracked lodestones. Those look like parts. Oh, yellows, yellows. Scrap. We've got some good stuff down here. All the orange stuff is components.
Uh, that's crafting. Searing ember. Yep, this is a component used in weapons and shields. Adds damage, fire damage. There's going to be tons of these. Adds lightning damage. That's cold damage. Giving you a flavor of everything. Got extra armor. Regenerated. Nope, don't need it. I'll take the extra armor. Energize letter glyphs of the sea. Extra energy. Extra energy. Extra energy. Oh, might as well. Nine to nineteen. Still very fast. Uh, might have to try that. Woodman's Axe of Readiness, 6 to 20 physical, fast, 8 offensive, plus 5 defensive. That's pretty awesome. That will go on the offhand instead. So oh, those are already there, I see. Okay. Space does get limited, huh? So that's the first quest already done. Um, I think there's a good spot to stop it here. I'm going to start up a new one. And uh, keep the video shorter. Well, this one's probably forever. So, hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, part two will be coming.